All right, back to it. Uh, our uh, next order of business is to add our uh, vertical risers for the side. And uh, these, I know, are going to have to go over uh, several revisions. Uh, now, you may be wondering at this point, why on earth did I put this SBR rail on the side? Well, I think that that is actually going to become uh, fairly obvious as uh, we move on a little bit. Uh, now, I know that there are definitely advantages on uh, putting them on top, uh, so I'm not arguing with that. Uh, but uh, I think the advantages of putting them on the side outweighs the advantages of putting them on the top, and we'll uh, kind of uh, go over that a little bit as uh, we move on here. But uh, the uh, two big ones are uh, space savings and the... Uh, and uh, the uh, simplicity of the design. And uh, you'll see what I mean here in a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. So, first thing that we're going to need to do is go over to GrabCAD and uh, pick up some of our uh, SBR20 blocks. So, uh, let's see here. This is a SolidWorks model right here. 47, 47, man, those ones look nice. 48, all right, well, this one seems to uh, win the most uh, thumbs up, so we'll uh, try this one. Let's take a look at it, see what we got here. Yeah, you know what, uh, that, uh, that looks perfect, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, download these. 30 megabytes. Are you kidding me? Wow. All right, let's see what's in there. So the LM20OP. Oh, you know what? I think that this one came with the... Uh, now let's just take a look at this guy right here. We'll double click it and see what comes up. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, that's what we want. That's a good little model. That's a very thorough model, uh, which kind of uh, leads me to believe that uh, the uh, that it'll probably be fairly accurate. But uh, they obviously took their time in uh, uh, in designing this one, but. Uh, Oh, wow, yeah, that's a very nice model. And uh, that looks very similar to uh, the uh, the ones that uh, we have on uh, uh, on eBay. So uh, I'm, tr I'm wondering what this LM20 is right here, just out of curiosity. Oh, okay, so that's the inner bearing. I got it. So we got the inner bearing, then we have it with the housing. So uh, we won't uh, need that one, but... Uh, you know what we might so let's save all of them and I'm gonna go ahead and save this one as a uh, file inside of uh, oh you know what this is I could tell you what this is uh, this is an assembly this is what we're looking at right here got it gotcha okay so we're gonna go ahead and exit that one I'm gonna hit uh, don't save on those because we're gonna go over and we're gonna snag these over here and we're gonna just uh, snag this whole SBR thing Uh, actually, I guess we'll just snag this one, and we're going to put it right in there. <clears throat> Excellent. Now, uh, when we save it, it'll uh, save uh, into our folder, and so it's not just hanging out in our downloads folder anymore. So, uh, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a save all, and it's going to convert it all to the latest version. So, uh, yep, sounds good to me. And uh, there it is. Excellent. Uh, good. I like nice, complete models like that. Uh, okay, so next order of business is we need to create the risers. Now, uh, these uh, dimensions will be on the website, but we'll just go ahead and take them off of here because that's convenient. And it looks like we got 35 by 35. Okay, nice uh, square. So we're going to create a new uh, part. 
Now uh, I'm going to try to cover a couple basic uh, a couple of basic uh, uh, rules of thumb that I try to use whenever I design a riser. And first is that uh, you kind of need a kind of an arch design that way because your router is gonna if your router is sticking right here, your bit's coming right down there. You want it sitting right between the two main bearing blocks. And uh, if you're not careful, you can put your two bearing blocks. Then uh, up comes your riser, and then the uh, router sticks out all the way out here somewhere, and uh, your lines of force don't line up. And so uh, I like to try to keep those as uh, linear as possible. And uh, if that doesn't make sense to you right now, don't worry. Uh, we will uh, we'll make uh, more sense of that uh, here in a minute. And uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to start actually really basic this time around. And we're going to do a corner rectangle. And I'm going to start from that side. Now, I don't know exactly how tall I'm going to need this thing to be yet. Okay, because we have the linear blocks are going to sit around here. There's going to be another inch or so up to the spoil board. Then another six inches of uh, that we want to clearance, and then that. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a full 14 inches. That might be more or less than we actually need, but uh, it's probably a good starting point. And uh, don't uh, send me hate mail just yet, but I'm going to go an 8 inches wide, and you'll see why here in a minute. In fact, I might even go 9 inches wide. Uh, and uh, you'll see why here in a minute, uh, why I would choose to do that. So I'm going to keep this actually pretty uh, pretty basic. I'm going to do an extrude, because we're make because this piece would be built out of... Uh, three-quarter inch uh, Baltic birch uh, plywood and uh, and I know you have doubts about this plywood but I tell you it's actually pretty impressive stuff uh, and I'll show you uh, and you'll later you'll see what, I'm, what I mean so uh, three-quarter inches and uh, boom right there we have our first riser now <coughs> I 100% promise you that this is not that this is not uh, our final uh, shape. It will look much better than this, but this is just kind of a uh, in-between that we're going to be doing. So uh, just for now, it's going to look like this, but uh, I assure you that it's going to look much better eventually. And actually, I already lied. I'm already off to a bad start here. Uh, I'm going to add actually a couple more inches to that 14 because I just realized that uh, we have to have mounting for the lead screw. So let's uh, let's do 16 inches. And uh, you might think I'm crazy, but uh, you'll see here in a bit. Okay, now it is time to uh, make our linear mounts. So let's go ahead and we're going to do a hole wizard for this, which is right here. And uh, I don't know what, whoops, I'm sorry, what mounting sizes those are. Let's look up the SBR20 and see if we can get some specs on those SBR20 uh, eBay. Actually, let's do it this way. And I'm not sure, I think it's an M5, but I'm not 100% uh, 100% certain. So I don't know if they have specs in here, and maybe not. Maybe we're just. Uh, doesn't look like it. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do right now. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and guess and say it's M5. I might be wrong about that, but uh, you know what? We can change it later. Uh, that's the nice thing about parametric modeling is we can make mistakes. And our positions. Okay. Now, uh, okay, we selected our plane for where we want the uh, holes to be. Now check this out. This I love. This is cool. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to play a neat little game here where I'm actually going to create a rectangle and then make this for construction. Okay. And then I'm going to create another rectangle. 
and this one as well is for construction. Okay, and uh, maybe you see where I'm going with this. Now, we do have a little problem right here where uh, it thinks that uh, there's a point in the middle where there is not. So I'm going to right click. Uh, oops, I'm going to see if I can delete that guy. There we go. Because we don't actually want one in the middle. So let's see here. We'll drag this over now. Whoops. Go back to our sketch, our dimensions. This is going to be, what was it, 35 millimeter <coughs> by 35 millimeter. And uh, this one is as well. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, uh, oops, we don't need to mention that. We, uh, we're going to go ahead and make these uh, collinear. That way that they're on the, uh, they're on the kind of the same, uh, uh, same plane right there. And uh, let's go ahead and drag, drag this over, drag this over. And we're going to want them right about, well, probably like that. Now, the spacing in between these is actually kind of important because uh, um, too far, uh, the farther apart they are, the uh, more stable your uh, your gantry is going to be, right? Because uh, there's a, a lever arm there, and uh, that's very helpful. However, uh, the uh, you also are losing cutting space, and so as everything, uh, we keep saying this, uh, but uh, uh, it's a uh, it's a compromise, uh, and uh, and uh, you know we're going to make a lot of compromises in this, and that's okay. Uh, we're going to do select midpoint, and then touch the edge of this to get uh, that dimension right there. And there's no reason why we can't just tuck that guy right up to the side. I mean, there's no reason to be shy about that. So uh, we'll make it an even one inch. I like to use even, nice even uh, uh, dimensions. And then uh, we're gonna do a right click, uh, select midpoint. Then I'm gonna do a right click and uh, select midpoint as well. And uh, dimension that and uh, I'm guessing, this shoot from the hip, but I'm going to say three inches is probably about where we want to be. Uh, we, we could change this later. Uh, it's not a big deal, but uh, we're going to go ahead and do it that way. I'm also going to select the midpoint here and select, uh, well, just strip select that one. Looks like I missed it. Uh, select midpoint. And I'm going to assign this a value of two inches. This might very well change, and you'll see why here in a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now we are not done yet. Um, right now we've got these uh, very well positioned uh, rectangles, or uh, squares I, I guess in this case, but uh, however uh, we do not have any uh, holes because uh, we're still in the hole wizard, remember? So what we're going to do is we're, we are just going to attach one to each corner. Now the beauty of this is all I got to do, if I want to move all eight of these uh, holes uh, vertically, I just got to do this dimension. If I want to uh, do the spacing, I got to change that dimension. If I want to move it, uh, you know, uh, horizontally, I got to change that dimension. Nice and clean. I love it. Okay. So guess what? Now we have our uh, now we have our uh, holes. And you know what? Already, I don't like how thin that is. It just bugs me just a little bit. So. I'm already deciding that that's not good enough, and I'm already going to go and change that. Let's give it another quarter inch, 1.25. And uh, go ahead and uh, rebuild it there, and oh yeah, that looks much better. So, uh, now, uh, before uh, you send me hate mail, I know this thing looks pretty terrible. Uh, and uh, the uh, But that's okay, because... Uh, it is going to get better, I guarantee it. We're going to give that another inch. That uh, didn't sit as low as I thought it would. There we go. <coughs> like I said, uh, right now we're just getting placeholders in place, and then uh, what we'll be doing is we'll be filling all this stuff in. Okay, now there's another uh, set of holes that we're going to do. In case you uh, don't remember, we're going to do our uh, our mounts for the uh, 
the uh, 3030 because uh, we're going to have another 3030 going across connecting the uh, the uh, gantry. So we're going to go to uh, features and we're going to do another whole wizard. And uh, we're going to do this one very similar, uh, but this one's going to be an M6. And uh, our positions. And just like we did before. And uh, for construction, there we go. Okay, we do not need that one right there. So we'll go and just hit delete. Uh, we need uh, one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to go ahead and dimension this one from the top, I think is uh, a good way to do this one. I might be wrong. We could change it in the future. Whoops, I got to hit my smart dimension. Uh, we're going to select the midpoint. I'm guessing that's about two inches to get that tucked up nice near the top. And actually, okay, we're going to need to change that later, but for now, I'm going to call that good. I'm going to, I'm going to be content with that just for now. Uh, from the back edge, actually, you know, I am not going to do that from the back edge. I'm going to dimension that from the front edge. And I'm going to go ahead and say that's uh, 7 inches. Oh, and finally, last but not least, uh, we need to dimension uh, these and make sure that uh, this is 30 millimeter by 30 millimeter. Okay, I think we are good to go. All right, so it is ugly, and uh, we're going to take care of that <coughs> Excuse me, here in a bit. But for now, this will work just fine. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, make an assembly out of it. So we're going to go File, Save, and we're going to call this Risers. Put it in our root directory right there. Perfect. Now we are going to make a new assembly. So, uh, and uh, you'll see why here in a bit, but uh, if we do a new assembly, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and put in our risers. Now uh, we're gonna flip around here, and we are going to insert our component, uh, an existing part or assembly, our SBR20. There is one of them. And there is two of them. All right, let's go ahead and mate these up. We're going to go to assembly, mate, select that surface, select uh, that front surface right there. There we go. Well, that is quite the uh, model. It uh, might even be a little excessive uh, for uh, slowing our system down, but we won't worry too much about that. I would rather have an overly complex model than an overly simplified. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Sometimes uh, you got to be kind of precise with your mouse work uh, on these. Uh, there we go, that one and that one, okay. And uh, you'll notice nothing snapped, but uh, before I did that, if uh, I didn't uh, mess with it, it, wouldn't, it wasn't fully defined because it would rotate. And so uh, obviously uh, you, uh, it makes just for a much cleaner model. And uh, it'll actually, uh, it actually processes faster too if uh, you uh, make them fully defined. So, that guy's in the way, so let's uh, pull it down so we can get to one of uh, Okay, right there will work. Of course, if I, uh, of course, if I just uh, selected uh, that hole right there, it goes transparent, and then I can shred that again. So it's really nice how they do that for us. 
Okay, guess what? <clears throat> we now have a riser. It's an ugly riser, but it is a riser. And uh, you know what? We got some sketches in there within that SBR20 that seem to be lighting up. And it's uh, kind of a distracting uh, seeing uh, that action right there. I don't know if we click on it. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, hide that. And then there's also a uh, right there. Where is that? Is that the axis one? And we're just going to hide that. Did it do it? Hmm. Oops. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm not sure where those are. All right, there we go. All right, so now uh, just uh, when we we don't uh, see it from behind, that's kind of nice. So let's go ahead and save all. <clears throat> and we're going to call this um, riser sem. All right, going back to our, uh, okay, we can close that guy out. No need to have that open. Go back to our main assembly. Come on. There we go. No. Well, this is interesting. Is it on all of them now? Well, huh, doesn't that a beat all? Oh, we're going to do a save all. <coughs> now uh, I can see it in the comments already. People uh, saying that's what you get for using a Mac. And to which I would say... I'm quite happy with my Mac, so minor annoyances aside, not a big deal. All right, let's open that back up. There we go. Huh. Not sure what that all was all about. Oh, whoa. Ooh. Okay, well. <coughs> Let's go ahead and insert our uh, riser assembly. And uh, looks like, uh, I'm not sure which is the front or back at this point, so I'm going to hit my space bar. And I'm going to, okay, so it looks like that is the front. And uh, we're going to do a mate right here. We're going to mate that. With uh, now that okay, now notice uh, obviously that is uh, that is not what we want, right? Uh, I think uh, just about anybody can see that. That is okay. We're going to uh, uh, change the mate alignment and uh, go like that. No problem. Uh, okay. Now another thing that we're going to do is we're gonna we need this obviously to be uh, uh, parallel. So we're just going to take that. We're going to take a known parallel edge, uh, and we don't want it to be coincident. We want it just to be parallel. It looks like okay. There we go. So okay. Obviously we got a couple problems right here right off the bat. Uh, <laughs> the uh, 
uh, that sticks down more than our legs do. And, uh, but that's okay. Um, I, uh, I thought that this might happen and I'm not too worried about that. We're, uh, actually going to, I, we're going to need this space for the lead screw here in a bit. So we're going to go ahead and leave that right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, actually extend these, uh, extend our front, uh, our uh, front supports down. So, whoa, we got some, uh, we got some building errors here. Which mate though, we got a coincident right there that it is not happy with. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and delete that and see what comes loose. What on earth? Okay. <clears throat> There's probably a simple solution to this, which I will fail to see. Wow. Okay, well, it seemed to only have problems once we uh, started our... Uh, So let's go ahead and uh, just uh, let's start uh, undoing what we did and see what happens. This uh, man, that was a bad one. I'm not sure exactly. Uh... Now, what's quite possible is that we had something called a, a circular, um, that we backed ourselves into a corner uh, and had our what's called a, a circular um, dependency. And so it's possible that, uh, for example, uh, um, that, uh, that you set uh, dependencies up in a tree that uh, basically it just goes around and around and around and never uh, can get resolved. And uh, that, that's a, there's a good possibility that that happened. Uh, we uh, we did uh, change some stuff uh, midway, so it's quite possible that uh, that once we did that, okay, okay, so we got that. Then, uh, all right, is everything happy? Yeah, it appears so. Oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes that happens. Uh, they, uh, we probably brought that on ourselves by, uh, switching stuff out at the last minute, but, uh, with the, uh, uh, in regards to the, uh, uh, changing the rails over it, uh, we probably just got a little sloppy there and that was my bad, but it looks like we're good to go. Okay. And we're going to do up that parallel and it should work out that yes. Okay. It, it can work itself out that that is the, uh, needs to be parallel so we can keep that vertical. All right, so we now have a single, uh, we now have a single uh, riser. Now, you might be thinking like, okay, well, are we going to go and create a, uh, are we gonna go and create another configuration uh, just as we did on the front and back? The answer on this one is actually no, we are not. Uh, I got something for this instance that's a little bit better. Um, 
we are going to have to do a little bit of configuration later, but uh, it's not going to be a huge deal. Uh, and uh, you'll see why in a minute. But uh, I think for this uh, solution, what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're actually going to mirror components. <coughs> so let's go ahead and uh, do this. Let's uh, go to, uh, I think it's in the assembly tab. It's, uh, oh yeah, right down here, where we're going to mirror components. Okay, so the mirror plane is going to be the uh, mid-axis. Um, okay, now we're not, uh, we're not uh, mid-axis on that, so we're actually going to use the mid-axis on our front support. Right there. There's our right plane. So uh, we're going to use that as our middle point. And uh, we're going to mirror this component. Uh, well, actually, this is the whole assembly. And uh, if we hit our error over here. Center of mass. I think that'll do it. Oops, okay. Close. But not quite. We'll edit that feature. Yes, we want to create the opposite hand version. There we go. So you'll notice that uh, that. Uh, do you want to make? Yes. Okay, it gave us some warnings. I think that was stuff that was internal to the uh, uh, SBR rail, but uh, I think we're, we're good to go on that. So, there it is. Beautiful, huh? All right, now obviously uh, this leaves quite a bit to be desired, so uh, we are going to press on. Uh now, first off, something we need to do is we need to uh, go ahead and uh, get a distance between here and here. And it's probably going to be some ugly number. Yeah, so 815.8 millimeter. Now, we kind of set ourselves up for that. And uh, what you'll see is uh, there's actually a way we can fix that. And I think that we can make that uh, quite a bit nicer. Because you'll notice that this distance is the cascading of, you know, the, the addition of a lot of different things and right now we're mixing two different unit systems so we're mixing uh, we're mixing metric and uh, our fractional systems uh, but uh, we know that uh, you know that uh, from here like for example that this uh, this uh, beam right here is uh, uh, 60 millimeters wide right uh, and uh, so from the center right here to there to the to the corner of it where this uh, where this mounts is 30 millimeters from the uh, bottom of the base to there to the center line is 27 millimeters I think it was then from the center line here to there is another dimension and I'm not sure what it is that it is that uh, depends on the bearing block right there and so Calculating all of that should actually be come out with a nice, pretty number. Uh, however, mixing up the units right here from the center right here, that's kind of creating a problem. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to make this dimension from the center here to the center right there, we're going to make that a uh, metric number. And that should come us out with a clean, nice, even millimeter. So let's go ahead and try that. We're going to open our front support. And you might be thinking at this point, well, why didn't you just make the whole thing out of millimeters to begin with? And well, that's a very good point. Uh, so that... So... Okay. And you'll notice right here that, uh, that uh, I actually dimensioned it from the side. So we're going to... Uh, fix that as well. That uh, that was good to get us up and going, but uh, a much uh, better choice is obviously to uh, <clears throat> to 
to uh, go from the center. So, so 13, it's more or less 13 inches. Let's convert that to, let's convert that to metric. To get a rough idea of kind of where we're going to end up. 330, okay, that sounds good. So we're gonna call this 330 millimeters. Okay, it shifted it just a little bit, but not a big deal. Okay, so now that is, uh, within SolidWorks, is a nice, pretty metric number. Now, uh, when we go back here uh, to our assembly, uh, it's gonna update, it's gonna rebuild. Now it just shifted everything. I don't know if you saw that or not, but it just shifted everything, and just to be sure, I'm gonna hit rebuild again, but, uh, now, if we measure here, this should be a nice, pretty, metric number. Yes, it is. 820 millimeters. Fantastic. This is wonderful news. So, mystery solved. Let's go ahead and uh, create a new configuration for our gantry. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to open our 6060. <coughs> and uh, you're going to love this. We have a, uh, we have a dimension right here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit configure dimension. Now this is a nice shorthand way to do uh, uh, configurations. Uh, so create a default Create a new configuration, and we're going to call this uh, one Gantry. And what did I say that was? Oops. Unfortunately, my memory doesn't. I think it was 820. We'll, we'll find out here in a minute. Okay, so now... Oh, not, nope, I didn't want Arduino. That's not what I wanted. That, uh, it kind of, if you hit the bottom, it pops up. Let's just try that. Quit. Okay. So, we don't need that open anymore. But yes, we do want to save it. I don't think we want that open right now anymore, but we will save it. Oh, boy. Well, something happened. I don't know what it was, but something happened. It, uh, that, uh, those risers seem to, uh, cause problems. Or that, uh, those, uh, not the risers, the front and back supports. Don't know why that is. One of these is, uh, one of these is, uh, creating issues. Tell you what we're going to do here. We're going to go uh, scorched earth on this. I'm going to wait for the next video to do it, but uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to just start over again. Uh, not from scratch, but we're just going to uh, remate everything and, uh, and uh, build up from a fixed point, and I think that will uh, help us with our problem here. So uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close this part down, and uh, we'll be right back.